Well, one of my viewers said that they, uh, I think it was Watman says, he wanted to know how my panels were doing. He said his was doing good that were a year and a half old. You know, I don't know if this is a year and a half old. This is probably a year and... Yeah, it's probably a year and a half old. I think I made it in the spring. And it's uh, middle of summer now, so it's probably a year and a half old. Close to it anyway. Somewhere around there. And uh, I made it out of cells that were... That had little chips on them. And then it was my first pail, and I ended up brushing the corners off of them pretty good. It, these are the, were the most brittle um, cells. I didn't pay very much for them. So you get what you pay for. So Then the next time I ordered some that were not broken. And I managed to make this panel. And I still broke some. Pretty bad break right there. Anyway, the rest of them look pretty good. Uh, I think it still makes over four amps, and this one makes right around four amps. I think this one's about four and a half. But I haven't checked it lately. I guess I ought to check it and and uh, just to be sure. But I run these two in a series to make 24 volts, and uh, and the hot weather it doesn't. Uh, these monocrystallines don't do well in the hot weather. And uh, so I started making them where they were attached to the glass. And uh, it, that worked out real well. I think they're going to last a long time. They don't show any signs of wear at all when it's attached to the glass uh, with that uh, Steel Guard or 6100, what I used. Basically, I don't know if it's the same thing or not, but it seems like it. Um, I used Solar Tight too. I couldn't tell the difference. They were all liquid silicone, I guess. Something like that. There's ones that I made out of wood. Uh, after I learned how to make them good, uh, they turned out great. And they really have uh, weathered nicely. And uh, I got some pretty good cells. But they were thicker. And I was able to make pretty nice panels. And they did pretty good. I got to the last one. I ended up, I put it together, and that just, uh, that was broke right there, and I didn't know it. I'm sure that cuts back on the whole solar array, because that one there is broke like that. I guess I may have to take that apart and fix it. But, uh, I may end up just getting a whole new set of cells and. and Gluing them to the glass with that uh, solar tight or uh, seal guard 6100, whatever, whatever is the cheapest. Uh, but you know, they hold that water well. This is actually where silicone sweated. I don't know if you can see that. The silicone that I put around the edges was was uh, sweating. I don't think you can see it. That That's not water. That's uh, where the silicone evaporated and it kind of stuck to the glass right there. But anyway. Well, if it rains, you know, several days in a row, it'll have a slight amount of condensation in a couple of these, but it's not nothing big deal. But, anyway. I thought they turned out good. They're still holding up. I think these still make a lot of power. In this hot summer, all my panels together are only making 8 amps. About half the power they usually do. This was a beautiful plant. Just yesterday, and these black bugs came over and attacked it. I think they're like potato bugs or something. I seven dusted it. We'll have to die for what they did. But anyway, I got a little camel. The garden's not doing well because it's too hot. The peppers love this weather. They don't care as long as you keep lots of water on. Looks like a little eggplant. Might form right there. The tomatoes are just burnt up. 
I've only got about a half a dozen tomatoes out of all these plants this summer. They just, they just burn up. If you water them, they still burn up. See the tomatoes, they're not. They're nothing special. Barely get any. Anyway, uh, I'm painting my house. I, uh, I climbed up there and replaced one of the cedar boards. They call that boxcar siding. I replaced one of them. I scraped the rest of them off. Uh, I need to prime. I scraped the places that were loose. And a tree fell on my house a few years back and I had to do some carpentry kind of work. All I did was put a facial board on it. It was broken. Or cedar. Anyway. That's about all I got for updates. Thanks for watching.